recon mode until we find out where they're concentrating. Uh, doesn't mean that they. Good evening, everybody. The, the fob is they could be having a it's May tenth, uh, seven o'clock where I'm at. Like Probably not where you're at. Ready for action. Uh, we're gonna run Operation Crazy Horse, and this is Squad Ops. We're on the lovely map of Kohat today. Looking good as ever. Lovely desert. Uh, once again, this is Operation Crazy Horse. The U.S. get to build and defend a compound anywhere north of this Kohat River. So they can go anywhere. We used to have designated locations they had to pick. We threw that out the window. We said, you pick the spot you want to defend. The Russians will come and find it and try and take it away. So that's what is going to be going on here with Crazy Horse. I've got another Crazy Horse here with me. His name's Pugachev. He's going to be my right-hand man. Well, I suppose I'm a crazy horse. <laughs> uh, with that, I'm going to go over the Russian side real quick. Since they are pretty much done briefing, and we can expect to go live fairly soon. Our main man command is going to be Xpit. He's commanded a time or two. Very familiar with it. Knowledgeable leader. He's got four squad leads with him today. Krusty the Sailor, Part-Time Ninja Turtle, OD Tap, and Hammered Hebrew. We wish you could be here too, Google Trex. You're here in spirit. Let's see, what do you have over for the U.S., Pugachev? All right, so U.S. right now, uh, you got Lish in command. You got Big Yes, Satan, Sensei Mike, and Shadow as squad leaders. I know Satan and Shadow have done it before. I'm unsure. I think this might be Sensei's first time. And uh, I think no, Big Yes easy. has possibly done it a time or two. Definitely some reliable squad leaders. And Lish has definitely done command this fair share of times. So this is going to be an interesting op for, for certain. Because this, this one's been around for a while. And uh, it's gone through a lot of iterations. This is kind of perfected. Yeah, I totally dig the changes that they've made. Where the U.S. get to pick whatever they want. Russia has no. They could be here, 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 here. They have no clue. They just know they're on the north side of that river. So I, I heard in the briefing that they were, they were getting a. Uh, sorry. He's really spreading his guys out, up north. I think I thought I had the map. Yeah, he's sending one squad up into Charlie Five area. There's a bridge to cross. Oh, vehicles must use bridges. I don't think infantry, they don't have to. They can cross the rivers if they want. But for the most part, Xbit's just really spreading his guys out, running recon. They're get, they've got a striker, so they're going to use that to scout out the areas before they, they build a fob and, and use mortars. They get two mortars. That'll be interesting. Watch them bombard the, the attacking Russians. Oh, man, I'm Russia. I forgot. Uh, the BTR-80, not the striker. They're going to be using the BTR to to scout them out. They've also got the MTLB, the NS, NVST right here, it looks like. So that'll be interesting. I remember Not the, quite uh, sure how it's going to go. When the uh, the river rule got added in, because one of the ops we did on this map, we just came down the river as uh, I think it was U.S. was on the other side, and we just came down the river in a bunch of Humvees you know, going over waterfalls and stuff and just appeared out of nowhere. And they were like, all right, that, that can't happen anymore. That doesn't make any sense. They, yeah, yeah, I remember that. That was Creeping. Quick. Creeping was his command. He took his guys. They were on the point in about two minutes, just totally mashed the insurgents that round. That was right when the insurgents were there, yeah. Now, let me see if there's anything else. The U.S. gets to start at their location. Have they picked a location yet? Have, have the U.S. picked a location yet, Pugachev? Any hey, idea? Yeah, it looks like Pugachev's yeah, hovering over have, like Hotel they, 5. Uh, they, uh, yeah, east of Chakar Cup, they've got a FOB set up already. Perfect. They shouldn't and, uh, be building anything until after live, but they can let that FOB ticker up. It does look like they're about to do a platoon brief. So nice location. Okay, so they're they're a little farther a back. The U.S. Hills, are a little. It's pretty elevated. Not of approval. All right, nice. I like it. The U.S. aren't quite as far ahead as the Russians. Russians are getting ready to roll. The uh, overall intent here is 
is to defend a stronghold. This is going to be our stronghold. So the way I'm breaking it out is pretty much each, each squad's going to just have an area or a line of responsibility, a forward line, and then we'll fall back uh, as we take contact. We do get Lodgy to this fob. Uh, the striker has to move with the Lodgies when they are mobile or away from uh, away from this stronghold. So we're going to have those those uh, operated by squad one. They're going to be taking the uh, north road to and from main, dropping us supplies. Um, as for the rest of the squads, I'll flesh that out now. So squad one will be operating two mortars on the fob here, as well as the vehicles. Squad two, uh, Sensei Mike squad, will be operating on the south in Hotel 6, Keypad uh, 3 area. I'll mark this now with a with a for mark. They'll be forming a line facing kind of south, southeast from there, watching for people coming up the valley uh, through the I column. If they do get contact there, obviously they'll hold the position uh, and or fall back to uh, Hotel 6, uh, Keypad 8, roughly where that uh, big long ditch is, using that as a line to hold and eventually fall back to the fob if we do take contact from that area but that's their kind of a uh, line there if that makes sense um squad three no yeah squad three Satan squad uh will be taking north uh they'll be overlooking the fob from north of us where the vehicles are there's uh, a big hill and a wall there that's in build range so we're gonna have some uh some defenses up there they're gonna overlook this entire fob if any if any enemies come over the um come over these hills It'll be all covered by uh, Trusted Squad 3 up there. And then lastly, but not least, we have 4, and they're going to be watching on the west. They're going to be forming a line roughly in uh, Golf 5, Keypad 2, and then south of that, uh, watching toward Akarkot, the hills north of it, and down south to Malakabad. So judging on where we take contact first from, uh, we're going to have the mortars to support first and keep the enemies stationary while the other squad that isn't in contact will move to support, if that makes sense. So that will be between squad 2 and squad 4. Uh, I'll mark where they are going to be on both sniper marks. So depending on whether we take contact from south, southwest, southeast or west, uh, those squads, one will go stationary and engage, the other one will then uh, support an attack. We'll also have the vehicles to work on that as well. But your squad leaders will really, um, further in detail what they're doing with that, so they'll flesh that out uh, to you once we're done here. If there aren't any other questions about the mission itself or the uh, vague plan, uh, questions? Okay, no bother. Um, I'll let your squad leaders break out more in detail what you're doing. And uh, we'll get ready to go live, and I just fell off the hub. That hurt. Thank you. ready um, up by the vehicles you can get them mounted up and ready all right we got to hear a little bit of the US plan I'm not sure you want to touch on what it was did you hear it very well Pugachev I didn't hear any of it so basically well, obviously they need to defend and, uh, fob this fob and get ready to on this uh, pretty conveniently elevated position this is a well picked spot um, they're going to have squads watching from various positions. One is going to watch from the hill <clears throat> overlooking the fob. They're going to have more dudes west and east. Basically, he's going to do the, the kind of the classic, you know, fire maneuver type deal. Uh, if one squad takes contact on either side, they're going to stay in place, hold, and engage the enemy, try to keep them there as long as possible. And the other squad, if they're not having anything to worry about, at the moment, they're probably going to sweep around and reinforce the squad that is currently in contact. And then the Overwatch squad is probably going to handle anyone that comes up after that if a gap is left in the front. It's a pretty flexible plan, and uh, I'd say that's a good way to go about defending a position like this. Yeah, that'll be cool to see. Uh, I'm excited to see how accurate their mortifier is on the advancing Russian forces, too. That's going to be extremely important, uh, especially for, you know, attacking in trench position because they don't have the movement to get out of those fires. And that's going to be great to uh, try to get them out of positions 
and, and make, uh, you know, opportunities for them to move up. All right, we got the live call. They are live in 30 seconds. I'm going to bang through our cameras really quick because we got to show these guys the appreciation that we have for them because they are the ones that make everything cool about this stream. That and Penn. So we'll go through them real quick. We got Xbit, he's command for the Russians. We've got Big Yes. We've got CeeLo. We've got Server Error 404. CMYK Matter. Krusty the Sailor. Shadowed Ritual. J Remick. And Merrick 362. Thank you to all those guys for helping out with this. We are live. Rush is taking their time getting out. They're in no hurry. All right. They've got a full Lodgy truck. Appears to be, well, heading down the road. I'm not going to call where they're going. I have no idea. Meantime, their BTR and MTLB are up in the front. Not sure where they plan on heading to. They might be just heading straight for the bridge at Malakabad or perhaps to the south farther by Jazara. Slow advancement by the Russians. I think they're just going to get up near the river and then spread their guys out. All right, now we've seen the BTR break off west, northwest. Looks like they're going to head up to the Charlie 5 bridge, cross there, and begin basically recon all over. Transports heading straight across the Malakabad bridge. I'm just starting to see the little red dots way out there in the distance. It's a nice thing. It's a, it's a good clear cohort. Summer day, partly cloudy. Sun's shining through really good, though. All right, so for anyone that's unaware of how this map works and the whole point of the FOB and being defended is uh, you're allowed to build you can use those and you can see defenses right down the, uh, and constantly expand it. But the catch is, you got a logic convoy that brings supplies to and from the, the main base. But it can't just, you know, run off on its own. It's got to be escorted constantly by a friendly vehicle. And that kind of creates a vulnerability that the enemy team can exploit if they choose to. And uh, try to cut the fob off while it's still weak in the early stages. And that way they'll make their uh, later mission easier. Of course, some people like and to just go straight for the FOB later. We have seen that where the Russians have tried to get around, flank, take out the, the Lodgy truck to slow all building for the U.S. You know, I don't know if it's really paid off for them in the end, though. Most of the time, by the time the Russians or their rockets or whatever get there, the U.S. have made quite a few runs and they've got they've established a pretty healthy defense. And it looks like Russia's not, they're not in any hurry. They haven't even crossed any of the river yet. They've actually dismounted their entire transport truck. There's two squads here. Reiterating three, staying on the mountain. There's Overwatch about two crosses. And they might be doing, Correct. they might be crossing on foot because 
Infantry don't have mobility restrictions, but the vehicles have to use the bridges. So they're probably going to send a scout team through the water, check it out, make sure it's clear for the vehicle to cross, or vehicles. Be advised, contact spotted, 075, uh, getting to... You cut off at the end there. 075 for me, I'm getting distance. Okay. Part-time Ninja Turtle has spotted enemies. Basically at Radio Tower. So they're way, way over there. I don't know who's over there at Radio Tower. Maybe it's a vehicle? They're around G6, keep head 4 or 1, I believe. Could... All right, copy that. Uh, squad 4, go ahead and dismount your infantry there. Have them cross the river. Break, break. Uh, fob, fob. Northeast from me. Oh, bam. Part-time Ninja Turtle just found the fob. He just saw it with his binox. This vehicle's loud. I didn't hear you. What'd you say? Way uh, out there. You go ahead and dismount oh, yeah. Yep. I see river. what he's looking at. The fob's up in somewhere in Gulf 6. It's a pretty good early intel. It's not too far into the match, and they already know the fob location. Yep, they just stopped to scan, and sure enough, there's a bunch of sandbags. You can even see an emplacement over there. G6 was not the fob. That was just enemy content. Yeah, come. I think part time's trying to get actual coordinates, like grid and keypads, on the fob. Yeah, I got eyes on the fob northeast. I also have a scout direct north on the far hills, looking uh, southeast east. Sorry, what? Part time Ninja Turtle seeing everything. This is the first round, you fool. Oh, and we just started. There haven't been any casualties yet. Russia has just spotted the U.S. Uh, FOB emplacement and defensive area. And they, they're barely getting across the water. Expit the commander for Russia has told the MTLB, which I'm about to here. He's going to have them cross the southern road, so they're going to come in south of Radio Tower, way down there. He's going to have a lot of room to cover. So Russia's got all the intel. They know exactly where they are. They just called out the Lodgy and the Striker running. Uh, we ought to see them start positioning themselves shortly. I think there's just that unending fear of getting shot. Everyone is so afraid to get shot because you only get one life. And that's kind of the whole point of these ops is to, you know, get that that feeling life and make the best of it I can. Oh, yeah, they, are, uh, they do. You can can almost see people's heart race as they're looking around, ready to peek a corner. It's really cool to watch. Yeah. Not quite sure what that MTLB is doing right now. Yeah, they're going to want to be close-ish to their Bob. If you see that Lodgy, though, smash it. I do remember never really enjoying vehicles too well on this map because this is a very... Like, like Speak of the devil, Oliver map. and Agent Fox Mulder just capsized their BTR. That's going to hurt Russia pretty bad. Mm. That is their main cannon right there, and it's burning. All right, copy that one. That's some one, un unfortunate news for the Russian side. Delta five, and then if it's empty, I, want you to move on to I don't know how they did that. Yeah. But I want you to approach the car caught from. But it's fully engulfed. It's supposed to be where the gas tank's at. That's Ooh. not a single twenty millimeter round downrange. That's not uh, a out of the fight before it even started. That's that's just not good. 
You know, they've got a, they had a great position too. They've got the Northern Hills. That's gonna hurt. Yep, check the check the compounds to your east. It's really gonna hurt. From the Fox Ford Square. Oh well, we'll see how they bounce back. Now they've just got to walk a kilometer to get into the action. Yeah, certainly not an automatic lose, but uh, they're gonna have a little bit more trouble trying to. You know, like I said earlier, make opportunities for themselves. Yeah, so that's, that's definitely that. That's all right. That BTR is an opportunity maker. It can suppress the entire team, right. you know, and, right. and, clear, and allow for advancement. So that's that's going to be the hard part for Russia now is actually getting These close to the fob. And that's that's yeah. really all you're doing as an attacker because the defender, all they have to do is wait the and react to you. But it's the attacker, you need to, you know. Do what you yeah, want to do and try to decide things on your terms. Context, then here it's always where you least suspect. Plus, there's also an X factor in there, where infantry is never going to be the same because mortars are going to come raining down, and you could guarantee if those mortars hit close to you the first time, they're either going to hit right on or a lot closer the second time, which is, I mean, nothing but encouragement I mean, to keep your guys moving, whether you fall back or push forward. Being statics only going to hurt you in the long run. Yeah, yeah mortars have definitely changed the game for uh, for the foreseeable future. I feel like they're so it looks like the U.S. have a, a fire team or so up at Radio Tower. Definitely just scouting out to the south. Like just in front of me, like right here. Thank you. And those mortars can keep rearming as long as that lodgy's running, so they are gonna make it rain. Say it again. Wait, actually, Shadow, can I get uh, bags up here for Overwatch? Make it harder for them to All right, let's. I'm noticing still a lot of distance between any contact. The closest I see is, I think, we got Ops Bunny, who's a real conservative player. So he's he's actually the closest to any Russians right now. That main force being part-time Ninja Turtle squad. And they might just be spotted. Oh, not quite. What? Yeah, where are the shots happening? Not dead. Oh, so Merrick's down in the south in the MTLB. And they actually... Yeah, they, that MTLB actually took shots at the Radio, radio tower. tower. Pushed those U.S. forces north a little bit. Which is... It's buying Krusty's guys a little bit of room to push forward. And they're doing just that. Krusty's got his guys down low, out of sight. Pushing in. He, he hears that cover fire. Alright, fire bat as for... Sure yeah, the gameplay the does. Down. It limits two mortars per fob, I'm pretty sure. So they get to use both of them. And that's, that's it. The U.S. are the only ones that get mortars. The Russians don't. Pushing us We're following Krusty's guys. They're okay, getting close. One, they're getting yeah, not too close. The rest of the okay. U.S. forces have completely fallen back. Uh, well, we're swinging around to the west. So it sounds like part-time Ninja Turtles seeing some guys moving towards them. And there is. There's a little fire team. Very well spread out. I think they're just kind of going to be that first shot. line of contact. Napoleon, man. Getting real stage, dangerous. Marine. Are you up? Yeah, I'm moving. Oh, what was the question? Lots, lots of slowness. No, no hurry here by the Russians. They they know where they're at. They're gonna win by sheer tactics because the U.S. are just gonna keep building over there.
Looks like OD Tap Squad with server error in it is still making their way across the North 40 here. Wonder if their BTRs bit it yet. Nope, it's still back there burning. We'll just hear a random explosion partway through the, this round. About halfway there. Bravo, you all good? Nardo 602 asks, where's Glock at? I don't know. Yeah, we're fine. Um, so far, nothing. He's in here somewhere. I'm not sure whose team he's on. We'll find Glock for you. Looks like Glock is on... The U.S. side. He's in Big Yes's squad four for on the road for U.S. With their lat, if a BTR comes up, it do you want him to still fall back to you? Uh, negative. If you've got a good position set up there, um, just be prepared. Be prepared uh, to fall back here. Another single contact. Um, I'm getting same some, some back line on me right now. Right uh, set up here. Just for the fields. With the good eyes, I'm in the squad approaching Big Yes is now over the hill from OD Tap Squad. He's kind of poking out over there, so there's a good chance they're going to see him. I'm really interested to see if they're going to shoot at him or not. All right, OD Tap is just coming over the hill. And Big Yes, he's a ways out. He's still a good 150 meters or so. But OD Tap's coming over. He's got the binocs out. He's bound to see something up here. He's got a full squad to his east, and then he's got Big Yes just to his southeast. And he'll be able to see Big Yes if he gets his binocs on him. I don't think he sees anything right now except for the enemy fob. All squads, all squads. I think the fob location is going to be Hotel 5, Keypad 1. There's a small little compound there. I them to move. Um, oh, great. Man, they built a lot of defense. We can You've always, got a lot uh, of defense there. Strike a buck if needed. Russia's calling. Russia's calling out locations, but they're in like three different keypads with all of their emplacements. Yeah, the fob is pretty well spread out, emplacement-wise. They've got some walls, some sandbags, some. Uh, New indirect fire cover up positions. Esco's with some boards over it. And they've they've got quite a few positions just spread out among the terrain. All right, Squad One uh, is acknowledging they they see the striker. You know they're not seeing any of the infantry though. That's that's crazy. They're definitely there. Uh, I would think. Enemy squad. I'm sure OD Tap would see big yes. He's standing on top of a hill. Krusty just got his squad to the radio tower, and they're actually slinging lead north. I can see the tracers. See if I can't zip over there and check out what they're shooting at. Better grid right now would be for like head just south of Karkot, right side of the cap, and then uh, proceed yep. west. Part time Ninja like Turtles, guys. Taking some fire from Radio Tower now. Fire, Bravo, Fox 7, Key 9, 77. Oh, Xbit just said, uh, time to move, you guys, or those mortars are going to start zeroing in. That's good awareness. He knows they've got them. I don't think they've shot any yet, but when they do, that'll really get those guys moving. Mortars preparing to fire. Taking fire, taking fire. Copy a whole squad's on that location now. So I'm wondering who Big Yes saw if it was. I'm guessing it was part time Ninja Turtle squad. They're pretty much on top of this bare hill. They don't have a lot of cover any direction that they go. Oh, and part-time Ninja Turtles down. They lost their squad leader. Someone just popped him. Oh man! Oh, and the mortars are mortars hit. Go down, go down, go down. 
You know, it's probably Kahuna that got him, maybe. I don't know. I think it was no. Kahuna. No, I think it was Brizinger. He's got a kill. Oh, yeah, you might be right as well. I think. I don't know if had some other people. Kahuna's nah. currently firing. Nope, that's it. It has to have been Brizinger. Kahuna's firing. Oh, yeah, Brissinger's right there with Kahuna and Bunny. Napoleon, man. So, good job. Way to go taking out that squad leader. Getting a, getting a little tougher for Russia now. They've got one leader down. They're just I'm having liking a, how they, a hard time of it. Oh, they are. I'm liking how the U.S. have some uh, fire teams one spread one out. One. You know, a four-man group on a little hill. Another four-man group to their it? north. And they've got the striker up north. Okay. So they've got yeah, a good contact. perimeter going. Yeah, I see three or four. Yeah, they're contacts out northwest. Two nine one from our position. They are northwest of Bravo. Northwest, copy. Oh yeah, good eyes, man. I see him too. I thought I was fucking paranoid as fuck. Mortars are probably Three, coming down again. A part-time ninja squad. I'm not sure who has assumed command for them yet. I will check. Sheldon, Lieutenant Sheldon. Oh, and those mortars were close. They were close. All right, we gotta get moving because they're just gonna keep dropping mortars on us. All right, my squad is uh, moving north. Copy that one, perfect. Roger that, Rito Tower. Uh, direct north. Yeah, go for it. Get one. All right, so Big Yes did see ODTAP squad. He called him out. He's running away. Get back out of there. Bravo, go ahead and fall back to the strong position. Enemy infantry east of the lock. Contact him out. 293, hang on. So that's three squads, three Russian squads that the U.S. are fully aware of. They found Krusty's squad on radio tower. Who sinker. Actually, they fell back. They They totally fell back. Yeah, part-time Ninja Turtle, that was a rough shot, man. Brzinger got you from about 100 meters away, 150 meters away. Pretty good shot. What was it, Hotel 6, keypad what? Oh, another U.S. soldier down. I don't know who just died there. That was, I had no idea. Or, I'm sorry, Russian. So the U.S. have three kills, Russia has none. Still squat to the southeast of that location. All right, Xbit's encouraging people to move. He's saying, "Let's get moving." Three and four, and that would be these two guys down here. It's Krusty Squad and Part-Time Ninja Squad, who is led by Lieutenant Sheldon right now. No, no, to no to the east of that, to the right. Very slow for the U.S. moving. See if we can. not Good look over. Let's see what that yeah, MTLB is looking at. Got a nice little tree for some shade. Must be hot in that thing. Yeah, they can't see much. You see him? Oh yeah, I see my Yeah, yeah, yeah. See them again. We'll call it in. They're trying to come behind us. Call it out. Call it out. We've got that squad coming back again. They, so uh, these two them. squads in the south here, ooh, mortars fired in. They were a little short, uh, closer to their own U.S. soldiers yeah, than the Russian. Jesus. Looks like we've got a U.S. smoke fired by a grenade launcher, marking out X bit and whoever squad this is. I think it's. I don't know whose it is. Two maybe. Hebrew hammered Hebrews squad. Off, it's pretty hot in these rhinos, says Firebat. That's a good movie. All right, Odie Tap is. He's, I don't know if he's seeing how far he can get these guys up this mountain or what. Maybe they're just trying to be as sneaky as possible. 
But you're on the open face of a mountainside, so there's not really any cover. <laughs> Their position two, two, is well two, known. Two, that's for sure. You think that striker would start taking pot two, shots? Two, There's no hard for him to run or hide. They are still so far out here, all up on that hill. They've still got a ways to go before they can get any accurate shots. He did. Krusty the Sailor is down. Not sure what got him. Oof. That mortar almost hit its own guys. Kahuna and Brisinger barely got out of there. Yeah, they're falling back. See, this That's a good is move by them. They've got a, a nice full, little example some squads pushing them. Of uh, why I personally don't split up my fire teams and suddenly do things on their own because they're super far away from support. And they'll easily get overrun by a larger element. I can't, however, understand the, uh, the reasoning behind it, especially in kind of a mission like this where you're on defense and you need to have eyes. Yeah, we're getting a little MTLB fire. That's really all they've got left in the, uh, you know, in the Department of Armored Fire Support. Oh, it is. That BTR is laying on its top you know, two miles west. So That MTLB is real careful. They aren't. They, they're like barely poking their heads out, and then they're taking cover. There's Krusty's dead body. Poor guy. There we go. I can see OD tap getting engaged up to the north. You guys in the back aren't I see all the tracer yeah, fire. Oh, they are way up cover there. here. Should I try? It's like someone actually got hit. I'm not sure if I've seen someone flank around that that route before. Tap just acknowledged that they have in fact been spotted. Wonder what told him that. A couple of them are down. Uh, immune style is barely pushing through. It's like server error 404 just hit the deck set. I can't do it. I'm going to wait. Are they zoning us in mortars? And as for the rest of them, they've all gotten not a good place to be. up here out of sight. We're at a high elevation. Mortars are pretty much impossible with us right now. Yeah. They have to. Yeah, Sunshine, they aren't using mortars. The U.S. was firing mortars to the southwest towards the Russians. Fuck. Oh my God. shit, there's striker coming towards me. That is not AR fire. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. Motherfucker, I'm gonna die. It might be HMG fire, but. Holy shit, holy shit, dude. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Oh. Oh, I made it. Holy shit. Server error is just taking fire from like six guys. Can he make it? Can he make it? He made it. Uh, okay, oh, there are some mortars. All right, the mortars are now shooting north towards the OD Tap Squad. They were south about 30 or 40 meters. I can see the smoke clearing, and here's Tap, the top of this big hill. He's going to poke his head up. Do you want us to meet up with you? We're pretty close. 200 meters. Yeah, copy if you can. Oh, I can. I've got the mortars zoomed in on them. They are looking this way. More shots coming in. We're taking small mortar fire, but we have elevation. I copy that one. There is. Oh, where'd that hit? Oh, those mortars are getting pretty close. The U.S. isn't letting them touch. Anything. As soon as they see somebody, they are lighting them up. Just letting them have it. Fulcrum took a shot. Looks like Fergie's giving him some bandaging. Boy, Odie Taps better get his guy mo guys moving. Oh, there it is! There's another. Down goes Fox Mulder. Down goes Fergie, and Fulcrum is bleeding. Beautiful mortar fire. That was something else. 
Just freaking lit him up. Yeah. Boom, dead center. They are not safe. Gosh, you'd think Darman, Fafinator, and Oliver would think about spreading out a little bit. Oh, there's another. Oh, it just hit Darman. Darman's down. Those mortars are tearing him up. That's three that those mortars have taken out. That's a third of his squad. Oh, there's yeah, two more. Really Oliver and Fafinator go down. Those mortars are killing it, man. That is awesome. Oh, and uh, they, they're down. not stopping. Get down. Get down. We're, st oh I mean, God, I got we're down to Fulcrum and OD tap, I think. I think server error. No, there's server error and the immune style. They're staying even farther away. That's just a bad place to get caught in the open. Oh, that mortar fire right there, I tell you. Clip it. Looks like the mortars have calmed down a little bit. They definitely, that took out five guys. That was beautiful. Yeah, That's you should have seen it. They were going work. after it. They they got some fire missions and got corrected on their shots, and they just started laying into it. He's moving up to, to suppress. They're all over the place. Perfect. Thanks for it. Next bit, I'm going to take my guys north into Jakar. We're gonna use and the Lodgy is still running. There's the striker and the Lodgy. They ain't done building. They're going all out. Russians are getting pretty close on the south edge of the fob. Are they? Let's buzz down there. We Taps got his squad cut in half. I'm sure they're going to play conservatively. Americans got eyes on. Oh, they're close. Jay Remix got two guys right over the hill from him. Oh, and X bits right there below him. Leading by example. Looks like Red Player is about to run right into Remick. Remick's lobbing nades. He just got someone with it, too. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful rocket by Faku. He takes out Silverman sitting in a bunker up there. Oh, Remick's right there by Red Player. Ooh. Remick there gets taken Remick. out. After he takes out Faku. Good job by Remick. He took out a couple with the grenade launcher. That was a pretty close pretty close grenade in that last one. Yeah, and Xbit is really close too. He's leading the charge, man. He's the tip of the, the spear. I think he's trying to just encourage the rest of his guys to get up there. Now he's trying to fall he's gonna fall back to him. Did did they just lose the MTLB? I think the MTLB's gone. And Merrick's dead. Yeah, the MTLB got taken out. Merrick just ate a grenade from somebody. U.S. have a beautiful fortification set up here. They've got guys all over these hills. They've got sandbags. They've got bunkers. They've got buildings. Not to mention they've got a whole other backup area to the north farther. And borders to boot. Appears that the striker has actually finally stopped moving. They've decided they have enough. Americans are still watching the South pretty, uh, pretty hard. I think they're, they're realizing the Russians decided to back off, and they're trying to figure out where they left off to. And Big S might have eyes again. He's been yeah. scouting out with his squad and himself pretty well this round. Yeah. The down stand at 19 to 5 south of Bravo with Russia meters. taking a beating right now. Go ahead and cross this bridge that I'm on and look uh, for 116. Been, been yeah. seeming like a little bit of bad luck has really cost Russia a lot of casualties this game. They rolled oh, their yeah. BTR. A couple of their first guys down were squad leaders. Now where's X bit at? Is he still alive? Oh, he's he's pushing up. He might be. Oh, there he is, leading the soon. way again. He's gonna run into sober pud. Oh, he's got the grenade out. X bit's gonna throw it. It's a smoke. 
Throwing the perp. Well, if that was a grenade, it could have killed the guy. He might, yeah, he might be marking the enemy because that's pretty dead on. Hey, that's got that guy backing off as well because he knows there's bright, colorful things next to him now. <laughs> it's going to get some attention from people's eyeballs. U.S. US forces pushing to the north. Ooh, looks like Tommy DK oh, and Lieutenant Sheldon are about to get flanked. So it's Captain Jolly Rancher. Big guest coming up on the rear, some Russians. Oh, big oh, guest goes, goes down. Avalash got him. He still got squaddies though, in his place. Two more Russians down. We're at 22 kills for the U.S., 6 for Russia. Starting to turn into a heavily outnumbered Russian force. What have, what have we got here on the west side? Hammered Hebrews guys playing catch up. They've been on foot since, I don't know. If this was Asia, they'd, they'd only be barely starting Moscow. I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't use geography as an example. I think they're trying to, uh, Hammered Hebrews got five guys left. Odie Tap is down to four. And then That's one full squad's worth. And meanwhile, down in the south, the U.S. are just they're closing in. There's, they're surrounding the Russians. The Russians are not in a good spot. They've got the US a full army to their north. Their left flank. Go some more mortars. Wonder which way they're aiming. Probably right down in here. We'll just see if they hit here. They'll land in, I don't know, about 10 seconds. I'm surprised I haven't seen any fire missions come down on these guys assaulting from the south of the position. Well, big yes. They did kind of push to the south there, but got held up. The Russians were spread out a little too much. I hear the mortars go. I think they're they're firing them north still. Towards... So they can advance. Copy that. They're gonna come down near OD Tap. Oh yeah, that was actually pretty close. Oh, Fulcrum goes down. He just took a domer from something. <clears throat> I think he'd actually already been shot. Maybe he didn't take a headshot. So we've got tap, immune style, and server error 404. Up on the top of the farthest north hill. Meanwhile, Hammered Hebrews and the remainder of his squad are to their south, pushing to the east. And... It's only a matter of time until they open fire, and all hell is going to break loose. That's a hell of a shot. And Hebrew is going to get them as close as he can. Definitely know they're there. That guy. Oh yeah. That's good. Heard the mortar hit. Didn't take anybody out. Wow, those mortars are just accurate, though. I was first hit. First shot hit on that uh that peak again. They probably got dialed in from earlier. Uh no firebat. Nobody the US doesn't actually know who they kill unless they can see the body and they like see the antenna on his back. Like I'm looking at Hammered Hebrew right now and he's got the squad leader antenna on the on his backpack. That definitely signifies that he's a squad leader. So if they see that go down, then they know that they killed a squad leader. They don't know which one. Or anything like that. Oh no, like when I hit tab, it ju it shows me both teams and the kills and stuff like that. It is not like that at all for the actual player. The player, uh, they don't see that. In fact, right. I'll show you. Try to show you later. No, 
as as the spectator and admin, you can actually see the kills and the tickets remaining for both teams, stuff like that. As the player, you don't get that information at all. All right, OD tap has assumed command. Xbit is down. Not a whole lot of left for the Russians. To be fair, Xbit lasted pretty long on the front line. Oh yeah, he was the front line for part of it. So good job by him. Bravo with me. Copy. Bravo, we're moving out. Let's go. Yeah. Hebrew squad's about to walk up on some U.S. Oh, and looks like the U.S. are ready. At least uh, I can hear Tap calling him out for Hammer Hebrew, so he knows where they are, and he's trying to relay that information. Hebrew is just sneaky crawling. There's some more saw fire. It looks like it's, I think, directed up north towards Tap squad still. Hebrew's got his grenade out. You're coming up on the striker. It is basically to your south, southeast. Oh man, but he's got butt scratcher just to his south, yeah. He might not though. Alright, he pulled his gun back out, so at least if he does run into someone, he's got a chance to fire before. Copy, just keep it tight. Before he gets killed. Grenades back out. He's really lobbing that thing. Oh, he has no idea. Took a rough bounce. Is he gonna? Is he gonna turn? Oh, here we go. He's gonna. Lobo Ma turns. Oh, he's down. Down goes Silo. I don't know if that was Han or Lobo Ma that got him, but he got one first. Three zero, Mike. Mike's there. Cool breeze. Plus, Greg like backing off. T Taps taking more shots. Cool breeze shot at him. Should we be watching to the west at all in case they're going for a flank if they think there's more of us? Well, oh, 3 0 Mike Mike gets taken out. Advanced. I think that was Han back there that got him. Butt Scratcher is taken to the bunker. Cool Breeze taken to the defilade behind the hill. Han's getting a little gutsy. He's on an open hillside up there pretty high. Trying to get a better view. He's looking everywhere, too. Heck, they don't know where they're at. Hebrews throwing a little bullets down and moving. Got the U.S. pushed back off of their northern battlements. Let's see if they try to hone those mortars in on it. Uh, 179 now. They're going across the ridge. Right. They might have used so many rounds that, uh, you know, oh, gosh. steady that laundry still, runs that they might not be able to use them uh, as frequently anymore. So they're not currently on the actual pits themselves. Oh, we're down to Hebrew and Lobo Ma, but they've got a whole squad or fire team to their west taking shots at them. Hammered Hebrew and C Mike Matter shooting at each other. Russians actually using the U.S. Northwest. I don't know exactly. bunkers now. Oh, Hebrew gets taken out. Looks like Magnetic got him. We're down to Lobo Ma. And of course, we got Tap Squad up in the North 40. They're strictly a scout team, is what it seems like now. Frag out. Up on the We're pushing it on the right side. Oh, Lobo Ma turns and gets demined. He took a shot, I think. He's bleeding. He's got Satan and CNYK. He takes out Satan. That was a squad leader. Oh, Matter takes him out, though. Or Megsnetic did. Enemy contact down. That's it. Squad lead just oh, it could have been Cool down. Breeze, too. So, Hebrew squad. They got actually pushed in really well, but there was no support, so the they didn't. Are clear. They got wiped out. In the meantime, we've got a little group of Russians here. Uh, Good thing the they aren't firing the mortars at them. From the north, move back the they may be here All soon, right. though. They are... Oh, yeah, they're going crazy with their 
smoke grenades. Squad lead. They bought scratchers out of ammo. They all threw at least one. Now they're spreading out. They're actually going to go around the smoke, maybe. I don't know. Oh, wow. <laughs> Not quite sure what the what their plan is here. Husbird, Jolly Rancher, and Buddy. Buddy Martos on the west side. Stray Dog, Fulcrum. Polecat on the east. Polecat's shooting rockets into the smoke. Trying to create a distraction. So is Buddy. They're shooting at the bunkers. But there is just a slew of U.S. soldiers all up across those hills. Throwing more smoke grenades. We lost, we lost somebody here. Not sure who. Oh, Stray Dog's gonna run up on Ronald Ray guy, gun, takes him out. Oh, that's a great flank. Oh, they got oh, him. he's down. He got two, he got Glock 712 and he got somebody else. He's still dying. It's just, he's rolling in pain. It hurts so bad. Here we go. Lish is having the squad leads kind of redirect forces, bringing them back west so they can help. Oh, fun guy five taken out. Dr. Wymath and bird person just stooped right there behind their sandbags. I'm sure the U.S. are aware now that the BTR has been rendered useless. Yeah, Husband gets taken out by Dr. Wymath. Oh, Buddy Martos takes out Wymath. Let's check out the kills. 33 to 15. So the U.S. have doubled the kills in Russia. And there went another one. Polecat's down. That's this entire freaking team. We're down to tap up north. Oh, no, buddy. Buddy's alive. Really getting in deep into this bush. Using that as the best concealment he could possibly get. Centurion. Oh, he sees him. Sees him through the tree, moving. He shot and he moved. He shot and he moved. Oh, I think bird person actually, yep, bird person saw him. And he's dead. Good shot by bird person. They are down to the last three. And they've actually gotten off of the hill. When we get closer, smoking it up we is probably the best bet. If we all throw our smoke. I think Sir error We're rolled his ankle or something. Ninja. He's up on the hill. <laughs> Way up there. It's a. Uh, it's definitely much harder to attack than oh, it is no to more defend. Left. We're literally all that's it's, left uh, right it, now. The, the advantage is always towards the defender. It definitely is. Take a piss break and everyone's fucking gone. When I and back. when we started, I was wondering why Russia didn't get any mortars. Well, for one, they don't have any logi or fob emplacements. But boy, if they had mortars, they could just rain down on that. Well, well, defense you guys are going point the whole that. time, so it would to kind of become unfair. That's, I was under the impression at the beginning of the match when mortars were mentioned that uh, Russia actually had access to them, but now they know they don't. It seems like it might be a good idea to check out and see how that would work in a further iteration of this uh, you know, map and mission. Give uh, Russia a nice little mortar firing point, allow them to disentrench the U.S., Oh, there's a, there's a flank squad way to the northwest now. They, they got dispatched. Yeah, they're finally coming down off that hill. I have, I have all faith in you, trust me. Oh, I'm super hyped, man. OD Tap is going to throw a smoke grenade. I think he saw me, but whatever. We're going to at least get close enough to throw a grenade in or something. They are throwing a bunch of smokes. Everything they've got. Give it about four seconds. 
All right, tap an immune style through every single smoke they had. The server error has got the AR. He's laying down some suppression. And they're not going to have him very long. He's going to get flanked pretty soon here. This is something I see all the time. People throw every smoke they got, and then they just watch it. Like, look at what we made. Oh, there we go. Finally, he's he's going to push through it. Yeah, they've already missed their chance, though. Mari yeah, is, they, has reinforcements now. Yep, they gave it away. Tap's got his pistol out, and he has done nothing with it. Oh, beautiful nade oh, by Immune Style. Wow. Takes out two of them. That was a wonderful grenade. No, Actually, got... uh, Silent Crisis, it's it's not. We got We just work on the honor system, and you know, people join this uh, for the the immersion and the feeling, the one life stress and stuff like that. They they don't want to cheat. They want to they want to feel the suspense and feel the immersion. I mean, obviously, everybody wants to win too. But with this many people flying around in admin cam, it's pretty easy to get caught trying to cheat. Immune style and tap still kicking it. You know what? Tap's using his pistol because he's completely out of ammo. He is black on his AK. Two mags Server left. error is about to, to get shot in the butt by CMYK Matter, his little fire this. team. You could probably advance. Oh, it's, they're gonna murder us. Fuck me. Well, U.S. has a squad all the way up on that hill where Tap Squad used to be. One six five. One six five. I gotta say that was pretty fast for them to move up there because I swear I just saw a bus scratch maybe five minutes ago. Yeah. Well, they screwed. There's the mortars. Here come the mortars. That's mortar. Right, well, they're too far away. I bet you right, they're going to adjust them a slight smidgen towards themselves and fire again. Here comes server error actually getting in there. Peek over this. They can't kill me. What right, taps moving? To the rock oh, I think Wantap, man, he was up on that hill. Like, if you look at me, I'm looking up at CMYK Matter and those guys. Tap had his squad up there, and they were providing suppression for the rest of the team, and that's how they easily ran out of ammo. All right, command, it's, it's all pretty clear down south. Oh, Server okay. error 404 has the AR, so he's still got a few Unless they're fob rounds rounds left. I'm not sure squad how much. Leader. They probably have more ammo than us right now. Oh, probably. Yeah. An immune style still has his AK out. I just heard that. The mortars pop off. That's three shots. I wonder if they're going to take out their own transport or Lodgy right there. That'll be cool. Ho ho. Mortars are a little long. Gonna push down here with the valley, then we're going to maneuver up the hill. Oh, tap gets taken out. Immune Styles gonna not be far behind him. He's crawling right up to where tap was at. In there, up this valley. Oh, he gets hit once, he's down. It's all server error 404. Where's he at? Where'd he go? Where's that it? There. Oh. He's alive. He is alive. He's it. Last man standing. I'm not even going to try to release. I'm going to more just run right into it. I'm not going to try to do it too much. Yeah, server's the last man. Ooh, I'm all alone. Oh, 
Oh, he gets a kill. There we go. Hello, admin cam. So many red guys running around. One magazine. It's going to single. Uh, you know what, Google Trex? I don't think anyone uses it during the ops. Or if they do, it won't last long because everyone will learn to keep your squads moving and bouncing around. With that, they won't have time to uh, use the app and adjust and actually fire uh, within a decent amount of time to make it accurate. Oh, down he goes. Someone got him. Down he goes. I think it was Skelly that got him. We'll see some GGs in the chat here shortly, I think. I'll do it. For the U.S., it sure was. They uh, outkilled them by 20. So there's about 20 U.S. guys still. And they have plenty of ammo because they're not wasting any time shooting it into the air. So great, great first round by the U.S., though. I mean, it was a highlight reel from that mortar. Up on that north hill, they took out five guys in one, in one spree. So that was really cool. Uh, we saw some good pushes on the south from Russia, but they just couldn't quite get in there. And the U.S. were everywhere. I mean, they've got a huge expansion of, of defenses. I don't even know where their fob was. Probably down there somewhere by the mortars. Either way, a great job. We're going to roll maps, switch teams, re-coordinate ourselves. And run round two of Operation Crazy Horse on Kohat. This is Squad Ops. Remember to check us out at squadops.gg. Uh, we've also got some merchandise for sale. We've got some one-year merchandise coming out. Uh, T-shirts that have every operation on the back with the date that it was released. Uh, you can find that information on our Discord. Uh, what else do I got? I don't have much else. Thanks to our cameras, all 11 of them. Uh, thanks to Pugachev. Thanks to Penn. That was round one. We'll see you for round two here shortly.